The Republican Party has been desperately trying to convince voters that they are not against IVF ever since Alabama Supreme Court announced the decision that led to the effective ban statewide of the procedure. Now, as they say they support IVF, well, the problem is that more than 100 of them sponsored legislation, at least in the House, called the Life at Conception Act, which would effectively ban the procedure nationwide. But they had the opportunity once and for all to show how supportive they are by supporting legislation in the Senate that would protect the procedure nationwide. And guess what they did? Just take a guess. They blocked it. Of course they did. Specifically, Mississippi Senator Cindy Hyde-Smith blocked it. But don't you worry, because she still assures everyone that she definitely supports IVF. But don't take it from me. I support the ability for mothers and fathers to have total access to IVF and bringing new life into the world. Well, thank goodness she supports IVF. You know, I had my doubts after she blocked that legislation, which would have protected the procedure nationwide, but she said she supports it. So awesome. I believe her definitely. So, you know, what exactly though is the problem with this legislation? Because if you say you support IVF and this legislation protects it, then what are we doing here? Now, she's going to argue that even though she definitely supports IVF, this bill in particular, it just goes too far. And now I'm going to let her explain her concerns. The bill's expansion definition of artificial reproductive technology sweeps in much more than IVF and has far-reaching implications. It would legalize human cloning. It would legalize commercial sur surrogacy, including for young girls without parental involvement. It would legalize gene-edited designer babies and lift the federal ban on the creation of three parent embryos. It would legalize the creation of human animal chimeras. Oh, okay. I see. So <laughs> we're going to get real fucking stupid today, aren't we? We, we, definitely, we definitely don't want a bunch of human animal chimeras, as she called them, running around now, do we? <laughs> Oh my god, this country is so fucking stupid, our empire is dying, what the fuck, man? That's a U.S. senator, a person in a position of immense power, shrieking about the possibility of human-animal chimeras. Sorry, Americans, no reproductive health care for you because one Republican dumbass is worried about cloning and human-animal chimeras. And um, it's a real concern, so you don't get to have any rights. Sorry. I'm exhausted. What, what am I supposed to say? How am I supposed to give you any political commentary that's interesting or insightful? That's what we're dealing with. I don't think we need, you know, a comprehensive breakdown. I don't think we need to analyze what she's saying or try to interpret what she's saying in good faith. She's just a dumbass, man. She's talking about human-animal chimeras. What are we supposed to say about that? Now... I feel like I sh <laughs> Sorry. I feel like I shouldn't have to say this, but obviously she's she's lying. She might not be lying. She could be just that dumb, but this is not true. But she's trying to find a reason to oppose this because she actually does oppose IVF, but she can't say that because it's perhaps an even more unpopular position than their stance on abortion. So she's now forced to be opposed to this legislation under the pretense of designer babies and human animal chimeras. I, I, I still can't get over it. Holy shit. I have no hope for this country. Now, the sponsor of this law, Tammy Duckworth, um, explained specifically what this would do and had to reassure this idiot that no, not going to be any human animal chimeras, you dumb motherfucker. That's not what she said, but that's what I'm saying. But you know, that's... <laughs> That's implied in what Tammy Duckworth said. Let's just listen. This bill does three things and three things only. It protects the right of individuals to seek assistive reproductive technology without fear of being prosecuted for, uh, for seeking that technology. It preserves the right of physicians to provide that assistive reproductive technology without, without fear of being prosecuted. And it also allows insurance companies to recover to cover assistive reproductive technology. That is all that it does. Well, of course, Tammy Duckworth wants you to think that she doesn't support human animal chimeras running around. We're on to you, Tammy, or should I say Daffy? <laughs> 
I don't. I shouldn't publish this video. This is, <laughs> we're talking about human animal chimeras, man. What the fuck are we doing? And it's it's chimeras, okay? I don't want to end up saying what she's saying because I don't want to inject more stupidity into the discourse. But now, listen. This is Republicans once again, just handing Democrats a huge gift, right? And Democrats, they're rightfully pouncing on this opportunity gifted to them by these idiot Republicans. For example, Ron Wyden tweeted, I wish I could say I'm surprised. Senate Republicans just blocked our attempt to pass Senator Duckworth's bill to protect nationwide access to IVF. Republicans will stop at nothing to deny women in America their fundamental rights and freedoms. Senator Elizabeth Warren, a suspected human snake hybrid, all of my Bernie bros are going to recognize that reference, says Republicans just blocked Senator Duckworth's bill to protect IVF. I'm furious. So many families desperately need these services to help them have a baby. This is a direct consequence of Donald Trump overturning Roe and exposes Republican politicians' hypocrisy on IVF. Maisie Hirono says, once again, Republicans have shown their true colors, blocking passage of Senator Duckworth and Patty Murray's bill to protect IVF access nationwide. Republicans are claiming to support IVF while voting down the very bill that would do that. Actions speak louder than words. Yeah, so they're saying what they need to say here. Um, and really the only thing that gives me hope that this election isn't going to be a blowout for Republicans after the Democratic Party's base is disillusioned with Biden's support for Israel's genocide is the Republican Party's continued fumbling on the issue of reproductive health, right? That is a mobilizer. Their opposition to abortion and now their opposition to IVF, that is going to get a lot of people off their asses to vote affirmatively for Democrats. The question is going to be whether or not the people who are mobilized by abortion are going to surpass the number of people who are disillusioned with the Democratic Party over genocide. It's it's going to be a close election either way, but Republicans are seemingly trying to help Biden and Democrats win in November by continuously shooting themselves in the foot by doing idiotic things like this. I mean, we have a U.S. senator on the floor of the Senate parroting Alex Jones talking points about human-animal hybrids. What are we doing here? Why is this person in power? I, I get it's Mississippi, but, I mean, people in Mississippi, do you not have anyone else? I mean, just pick a random person off the streets, and I'm sure that they'd be more qualified than the person who's screeching about human-animal hybrids. Let's Let's all just try to try to do better as a country, right? Can we can we just not elect complete imbeciles? Just maybe a couple of functioning adults and maybe things would improve at least marginally in this country. What the fuck are we doing? Goddamn. Like everywhere there's glue, mama. you see them all the time. I mean, it's constant. Mama. My children are like, mama, glue, 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 glue. I turn on mama. TV, there's glue in the background. Every TV show, news media, why? Glue, 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 They're everywhere. Glue, 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 gl